So for real, man, when I first started eating high protein, it was like I had just discovered a secret that no one else knew. Except the reality was everyone else knew and I was just catching on. Hey, Jim Schultz here for F Cubed and Live, fcubed.com, and we are inside of the Fitness F, inside of the Cube tonight. So if you're looking to level up your own fitness game, please consider subscribing, tapping that bell, and you will have instant, immediate access to all the membership perks. So let's not waste any time, man. High protein diet results for fat loss? Man, crazy. All the benefits of boneless, skinless chicken breast bursting from your pockets? Man, they are too numerous to be in only one segment. In fact, I'm gonna go so far to say tonight that a high protein diet, it needs to be the foundation of any fat loss strategy that you're going to take seriously. So right here, right now, together as a team, let's go ahead and unpack three reasons, three benefits of high protein for fat loss. And hey, for those of you that hang with me till the end, that endure with me until the very end, I'm gonna give you the most delicious high protein meal that you've ever tasted. That's zero carb and zero fat. And it's not even cardboard. All right, so reason number one, you wanna prevent muscle loss. Now the rationale here is pretty straightforward, right? You're going to be losing fat, so naturally, you're going to be in a caloric deficit. But the weight that you lose, it might not be all fat. It's going to be a combination of fat, water, and muscle. Now, of course, we'd prefer all that weight loss to come from just fat and water primarily, but if we're not careful, man, we might end up losing some muscle, potentially a lot of muscle, in the process. This is because your body is going to be in a negative energy balance, if you will. And your muscle, that precious muscle that you have on your frame, it places very high energy demands on your system. So it would just assume get rid of and dump all that muscle. So what we need to do is we need to encourage or coax our bodies into maintaining that muscle. And one of the best ways to do that is to eat enough protein. So that's reason number one of a high protein diet for fat loss. Reason number two, satiation. I mean, look, man, this one, it couldn't be any simpler or straightforwarder. Of the three macros, protein, carbs, and fats, protein is by far and away the most satiating of the bunch, right? Chicken, fish, steak, they fill you up a lot more than bread or rice or even vegetables. And this is really good, man, because remember, you're getting sliced. You're getting shredded. So as a result, you're going to be. Hungry. Reason number three, and lastly, we're gonna call this one capped fuel sources. So again, think about your calories, right? They're gonna be made up of that protein, carbs, and fat ratio. These are the only three components of the foods that you eat. Well, I guess technically there's alcohol too, the fourth macro. But let's assume no late night bourbon benders while you're trying to get shredded. By eating a high protein diet, you're not only gonna make your caloric deficit easier to achieve because there are fewer calories left to hit your carbs and fats goals, those fuel sources, but you're also gonna make it easier to adhere to. Hashtag satiation, hashtag reason number two. So in the end, what ends up happening is your fuel sources are sort of capped. There's sort of a ceiling placed on just how high those guys are going to go, which is good because that's going to be necessary to kickstart the get shredded phase. All right, now, I bet you've got some questions. Well, I do too, so let's be confused together. Question number one, all right, Jim, you a high protein, low carb guy or a high protein, low fat guy? Honestly, I kind of like to middle it. I kind of like to have a little bit from both pots, a little bit of carbs, a little bit of fats. Because just like we talked about in carb cycling macros, uh, not so anyone? Question number two, I realize that this video is about fat loss, but what about high protein for weight gain? What about a high protein diet for muscle gain? Of course, along with high carbs and high fats, also known as Utopia, also known as CC's. 
Question number three. All right, Jim, don't you hold out on me, bro. We're at the end of the video. What is your go-to favorite high-protein meal? All right, get ready. You write this down. Egg whites with cinnamon and Splenda. You salt your egg whites while they're in the pan, then you pour the cinnamon and Splenda mixture over the top. Just a light dusting, nothing too crazy. And for real, man, if you just quiet your mind and you just focus on that visualization, it tastes exactly like Cinnamon Toast Crunch on a bed of clouds. Well, maybe not exactly like that, but it's pretty close. So now, if this video has motivated you to take the next step in your fat loss journey, hey, mosey on down to the description and scoop up the fat loss formula. Man, it's totally free. You can take your new egg white cinnamon and Splenda recipe, you pop it right into the formula, shred it by Saturday. Hey guys, thank you very much for your time and your attention. I do not take either of those things lightly. If you wanted to leave me with a like, a share, or a subscribe, kind of in your wake, man, I will be so, so appreciative of that. But coming up next, we're gonna talk about the thermic effect of food. Say what?